Welcome back. You've got a little something on your face. Right there. Haha <laughs> ew. Today, we will be taking a deeper look at artificial intelligence and the weird kinds of art it can make. Welcome back. You've got a little something on your face. Right there. <laughs> Ew. Today we will be taking a deeper look at artificial intelligence and the weird kinds of art that it can make. We've done this a couple times before, but today we have access to, I think, either the best or one of the best AI art programs or just AIs, I guess it's not really a program. Or is it a program? It's an intelligence, right? I'm intelligent, I'm not a program. You may have heard of Doll E. It's been around for a little while now, but it's not really been accessible to the common man. That's me, by the way, I'm the common man. But now it is, and it can make some crazy good looking stuff. Here's some of their examples. Pretty lame if you ask me, just wait till you see my examples. But you can make like an orange, you can make like a little hairy guy, you can make a chair that looks like an avocado. The applications are endless. Let's type something in here. Let's make a thumbnail. Crazy YouTube thumbnail. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. Here we go. Ast <laughs> rest. <laughs> this looks terrifying. <laughs> okay, there's the thumbnail for sure. Oh my gosh, dude. I love when it puts text but it doesn't like have it say anything. I mean, not in any language that I'm familiar with, but it, it looks right until you read it. So in the past, the AI art things we've used are very literal and it's best to use fewer words instead of more. Whereas this one's a little smarter. So I tried to like test it out a little bit to see like what the best way to use it is. So initially I typed in the vastness of space inhabited by distant cosmic entities. And I just got a bunch of pictures of like space, no entities or anything, because I think I was a little too vague. Like what entities, you know, cosmic, it just put like cosmic stuff. So I tried again, the vastness of space inhabited by distant cosmic monsters, kind of clarifying. Again, I just got kind of pictures of space, but this one, it's not really what I asked for, but this one's pretty cool, honestly. I'm down for that one. This looks like a bounty hunter of some kind, some sort of like dystopian fantasy sci-fi. This looks very like destiny to me and I, I love destiny, so I'm down for that. And then space, so I learned and then I tried the vastness of space inhabited by evil. Again, I got space. There's kind of a dark spot though. Maybe that's evil. It's an evil dark spot. This one, it looks like a really bright flash photo taken from like the surface of the moon. I don't know. This one came out really cool. This looks vaguely like a skull. So I'm gonna give it a point for that. It looks kind of sinister, you know, kind of run down, very dead spacey. And then they just made this one, which looks like clip art from Microsoft Word. So you can feed this thing a lot of information, but you kind of have to like try to get into its mindset, I guess. So you have to as accurately as possible describe a scene. What's also really funny is that there's a wide range of art styles it can do if you don't specify which one you want. So for instance, I typed in in a dark room with a sleep paralysis demon hiding in the corner. And I was kind of like, should I do that? That's gonna be really creepy, whatever it puts out. I don't know if I wanna see what it comes up with. And then it came up with this. I don't even know, like, is this the sleep paralysis demon? Is it like a, a little stick man kind of in the fetal position? I don't even know what that is, a bench? But then it also gave me this one, which looks like a T-Rex head in the closet or some sort of, I don't know, bathroom. Pretty scary. Oh, you wouldn't be scared if there was a T-Rex in your bathroom? Come on. This one, I don't know, a little creepy. It looks more like, it's more just the scene that's creepy. The like weird checker floor, the dimly lit room, the lamp on like an empty table in like an empty room. And then some sort of shadowy figure with a weird face. Like this one. Great. And then it made this one, which is also pretty creepy for a lot of the same reasons. So we got ourselves a lot of potential here. Just to go over the other ones I did, I did pool rooms. It just made a bunch of pools. I did Uncanny Valley. It did just weird stuff. I tried Roses Are Red, Quiet As A Mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm in your house. And it just did roses. So that's cool. And that gets you all caught up till now. So we have the vastness of an AI to goof around with, but what are we gonna have it do? Let's start with surprise me. <laughs> oh, it just inputs it. A stained glass window depicting a hamburger and french fries. A pencil and watercolor drawing of a bright city in the future with flying cars. We'll come up with some of our own, but I wanna see this one first. Ooh, pencil. Was it pencil or watercolor? Pencil and watercolor. Huh. Yo, that's cool. This is sweet, okay. Uh, how about 
pencil drawing of a room with a door slightly open and a creepy face behind the door. I don't know why I'm going to scary stuff, but I just want to see what it does, you know? It feels like we're being too descriptive, but I feel like this one can handle that. Yeah, it handled it. It didn't quite put the face behind the door, but we'll be okay with that. I love, look at this pencil drawing. Look how this actually looks like it was drawn with a pencil. Creepy face shadow, creepy face on the wall, creepy face literally on the door, off to the side. None of them were behind the door, but I guess maybe we are in the room. So when we come out, you know, it's behind the door. Okay, let's do something happy. First day of training at the kitty factory. I should have done kitten factory probably, but then again, I'm not a Discord mod. I welcome to Kinti Dikti Killing. Dang, they're like making kitties out here, huh? Kiffy Kitty. <laughs> That's sweet. I'm not sure what to make of it, but it's sweet. Um, as always, if you want access to these, like if you want to download them or make them wallpapers or whatever, I'll take some of them, maybe I'll pick like a top 10 or something and put them on the Discord in the art section, uh, link in the description. I'll try to link to the art section so that you can go straight there, you know, skip the line and all that. Why did the AI go straight to child labor? Huh? I don't know. Let's be cheeky here. Let's type in the title of one of my own videos and see what it comes up with. Man looks at megalophobia and feels nothing. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, it got like big buildings, big things. This guy's freaking out. Hey, look, there I am. Okay, looking up, probably at a tall building. I'll give you some points for that. Yeah, okay, big, I don't know, cliff thing. A guy in a suit, I don't know, being so scared he's choking himself. We've all been there. Okay, let's go ahead and let's think of some ideas here. This is me thinking, by the way, in case you were wondering. I guess I didn't mention I'm in a different room now. Did I mention that? I'm in a different room. Or am I? How many credits I got left? 35. Let's do a classic. The coolest person who ever lived is riding a skateboard. It's a little redundant because if you're the coolest person ever, you're obviously already on a skateboard, but all right, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it. Good yellow and orange theme there. Oh, heck yeah. Ake and Hot Time Staddle. I guess being cool is synonymous with wearing orange. Man, that would have been a good bit to just suddenly be wearing orange. But I I literally don't own anything orange. I don't have a single orange shirt. I guess I am like the furthest thing from cool. This guy is cool as heck. All right, well, he's wearing, he's wearing red. We'll give him that. He doesn't have eyes. Apparently eyes are kind of not very cool, but let's do something with trees. The guy from Fortnite is hiding in the forest. Who's it gonna do for guy from Fortnite? Because literally everyone is the guy from Fortnite. Even me. Well, not yet. But we'll get there. Okay. <laughs> is this the guy from Fortnite? Is this the guy from Fortnite? Huh? <laughs> the guy from Fortnite stole the world. Can you imagine if he did? That would be no good. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Mm All right. What are we paying you for, man? The lamp man fights a horde of moths. Could be kind of sick. Something tells me it won't be kind of sick because I'm worried it's not gonna do lamp man, like a man made of lamps or a man with lamps. Yeah, let's try this. A sentient, a sentient lamp fights a horde of evil moths. Now we're thinking with gas. Okay, this is more like it. Heck yeah. This lamp guy is like trying to like just live his life and these moths are like, I don't think so. Dang, he is losing this fight. Look at that poor scared little face. Dang, is this like the moth general being like, come on, men, nobody lives forever. Okay, wait, okay, is this a really big moth or is this part of the lamp? Sick, dude. The ocean is alive and it wants to lick your feet, no. And it wants your soul. It's kind of just true anyway. It should just be a picture of the ocean. No changes needed. And look at that. It's just a picture of the ocean. Even the AI knows that the ocean is already alive and wants your soul. Look at this. This is this is nice. Okay, this is just a real photo. AI is getting a little lazy here. So it's like, ah, I'll just go on Google images for this one. Okay, I can only think of scary things. <laughs> Let's do like something classic. Two people sitting on the hood 
of a classic car on top of a hill overlooking the city while the sun sets. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, all right, here we go. Nice. And it's a classic car and everything. Meh, you know. I didn't say two classic cars. I said one and the sunset is out of frame. Dude, okay, here we go. This is pretty good. Is that a bag of Cheetos? Okay, this one's legit. This one looks really good. Although, yeah, I guess I just said sitting on a classic car. I didn't say on the hood. Or did I? Oh yeah, I said on the hood. Okay, only one of them, they're actually on the hood of the car. They're on the windshield and their feet are on the hood. This AI was like, cool idea, I've got a better one. And then they just proceeded to make it make no sense. Stay within the lines, Mr. AI. Okay, let's try the word ethereal, because I just, I love that word. Ethereal Titan watches over a house overnight. You know, like Clifford the Big Red Dog, but Clifford the Big Ethereal Titan, you know, keeping an eye on me while I sleep. Wouldn't that be kind of nice? All right, this looks not comforting. This one's kind of nice. Yeah, he's just kind of like, hey man, my people are sleeping right now, so so stay away. Uh, What's going on inside the garage, huh? Pretty bright in there. I love the angle of this one, though. The only thing wrong with this is this titan face thing i love the rest of the picture okay yeah all right yeah thanos chilling on the roof of your house while you sleep that's cool Ooh, yikes okay that's freaky i don't even know exactly what i'm looking at but i know it ain't good let's do a classic and just say artificial intelligence i don't know man it's like a self-portrait right what is this crap it's weird that when you give it text it will like put the text in in but it will like mess it up first like it has the literal text i asked for like it's definitely letters from artificial intelligence but it like removes some and shuffles some around and it's like you have the text just don't change it this looks like a just like a picture like this was if this was on someone's instagram i would think nothing of it this is where the intelligence is stored p is stored in the brain okay this one looks kind of scary this guy's about to hack my brain i think all right well that was both good and disappointing at the same time. Just like every day of my life. <laughs> let's do some art style. Let's do, let's do liminal space pixel art. It's gonna do actual space, isn't it? It's not gonna do liminal space. Unless it's smart enough. This is a smartness test, just space. But dude, the application for this is bananas. I don't remember exactly what the copyright rules are. I'm, I'm assuming that I don't own any of this. Like I couldn't use this for commercial use, but like I'm a big board game guy. So I always draw plans for new board game ideas that I wanna come up with. So if I ever need art for something, I could just be like, ah, ghostly knight with a giant red sword pixel art you know for like a character who's a ghostly knight with a red sword and then bada bing bada boom i could probably use it like this is legit or at least get you half the way there look at this this is sick like if this was in a pixel game you would just look at that that's freaking cool although the sword is not red all of four of these it put a red cape on them <laughs> Ghostly Knight with a giant red sword. It's really not ambiguous at all, but you know what? I respect that. Although, one second, this guy's got three legs, or he used to have three legs. Looks like he recently lost one. I have questions. A pirate ship fighting a dragon? Pretty cool. Although, the dragon is the pirate ship. I did not think of that. This is also a ship that's also a dragon. It seemed like, what's this little baby ship here, huh? I didn't ask you to make a baby ship. Okay, here we go. The ship is also a dragon, but there's also a dragon fighting the ship. So we're gonna give a half point to this one and follow the directions next time, okay? Chill Lo-Fi Cafe in the city at night. We're gonna throw the word neon at the end. Dude, look at that. Wow, I love the colors too. I love that it did like the high detail in the front. That's really cool. I don't know what this is, but that's really cool. I don't know what this is. The rest of it's really cool. Chill Chiff, <laughs> very cool. This is so cool. The colors it used is amazing. This will make it to the Discord for sure. I wanna sit in this chair. I wanna sit in this little beanbag chair thing. Nice. This one looks a little more chaotic. The shapes are a little nonsensical, but still catches the vibe. Bro, that's so cool. The chillest laundromat you've ever been to. Okay, I love it. Because we have access to this AI now, I want 
your guys' help. So use this video as a place to drop prompts for the next one because I wanna do this again soon. The whole AI art thing's kind of popping off right now. I know I've I've been doing it for like a, over a year now, I think, but everyone else finally caught up to the trend. You know, everyone else is doing it now. So I wanna keep doing it. Now that I have access to this one, I feel like the potential is crazy. Remember to be really descriptive because it seems like it does better when you're really specific about what you say. Anything that can be left open to interpretation, it will interpret however it wants. In fact, even if you're super specific, it'll still take some liberties with it, but that's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>